Hey friends, it's Sally Keeves, and everyone's talking about this new Ghostbusters movie. It's a remake, a reboot, a sequel, a squeakquel. Hang on, I'm being told that's not a thing. Also, Hollywood, you gotta slow down, because you guessed it, I've never seen the original. It's The Geek Awakens. <laughs> So in 1984, I was one. Cut me some slack. But if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it right. And now for the finishing touch. I got myself some high C ecto cooler, which I used to drink all the time back in the day, but I didn't know what all that ghosty stuff was about. Let's put a grown up spin on our favorite Ghostbusters beverage. Mix three spoonfuls of vodka into a martini glass. Fill with ecto cooler. Garnish with the frozen pineapple in the back of your fridge from that time that you were really into juicing. And viola, it's an ecto teeny baby. Cheers. Mmm, it tastes like dodgeball, acid wash denim, and the tears of Paul Abdul. This is New York City, and within the first minute, something terrifying happens. A bunch of paper falls on the floor. Well, that's what you get for using a card catalog, lady. This is supposed to be a comedy. This is a scary movie. I haven't been ghosted that hard since Kevin stopped returning my texts. I see you on Instagram, Kevin. I think this building should be condemned. Or as New Yorkers call it, my first apartment. Then Sigourney Weaver was in this movie. Hey, it's Ripley. Believe it or not. Then Rick Moranis is too. Honey, I shrunk my height compared to Sigourney Weaver. I wish I could quit you, Ecto Cooler. Those are some rancid leftovers. Where is all the ghost busting in this Ghostbusters movie? Hello, Ghostbusters. Hey, it's Allie, and we're like 30 minutes in, and there's no ghost busting. Are you serious? Yes, of course they're serious. Can we cut to the chase? I've got plans tonight. You do? I've got a date. No kidding. What are you, my mom? Just get to the ghost roasting already. Yes, of course. And I'm trying to keep my love life on the DL, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, they'll be totally discreet. Cool, thanks. We got one! There's something very important I forgot to tell you. Okay, okay. Don't cross the streams. What is this movie rated anyway? Why? Total Protonic Reversal. Dibs on the band name Total Protonic Reversal. I haven't seen AIM that bad since I went on a hunting trip with my Uncle Dick. Do you believe in UFOs, astral projections, mental telepathy, ESP, clairvoyance, spirit photography, telekinetic movement, full trance mediums, the Loch Ness Monster, and the theory of Atlantis? If I can get more of these, I'll believe anything you say. Ghost is incarcerated here in our custom-made storage facility. So it's like ghost jail. Meanwhile, Ripley's apartment is turning into Zool HQ. No, everything is fine. Hold up, is this gonna be like the end of Alien? I will. Oh, she's wearing more pants. Is that normal? Yeah, double pantsing was huge in the 80s. God, I love history. <laughs> this is why you never buy furniture from Bob's. Ripley's demonic possession put her just on the wrong side of the hot crazy scale. We want to assess any possible environmental impact. I love that the main villain of the story so far is the Environmental Protection Agency. Because if there are two things in this world that are definitely hoaxes, it's ghosts and climate change. I'm messing with you. Ghosts are totally real. Okay, Ghostbusters. The mayor wants to see you guys. Hey, it's Mr. Winslow. This means that we can finally make the Ghostbusters Family Matters crossover movie that the world has been waiting for. I'm pretty sure that Urkel is available. <laughs> or as they call it in Rhode Island, a pat hole. When someone asks you if you're a god, you say yes. Yeah, Ray, lean in. I love this town. <laughs> So the Ghostbusters saved New York from a Sumerian hellscape, and that's cool, but there's one thing that I still don't get. It's a giant marshmallow that's on fire. Doesn't he just become a s'more? In conclusion, I loved Ghostbusters. This movie was mostly a comedy, but sort of scary at points. Not like alien scary, but scary a little bit. I ain't afraid of no 1980s claymation ghost. Relax, fam, I know it's not claymation. I really enjoyed this movie, and I would totally watch it again. I understand why it's a fan favorite. Cheers. Thanks to Ecto Cooler for sponsoring this episode, and I hope that you're as psyched as I am to see the new Ghostbusters, which hits theaters July 15th. For now, I'm Allie Keeves, and this juice box is giving me total protonic reversal. Whoa.